Welcome to Lin Brizzy. I am JP and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at the curious case of the disappearing column or the one pixel column. And this happens in some events where you have a column with no content in it. And if you've been working with Brizzy for a while, I'm pretty sure you have come across this. And if you haven't, you may still. But if you are new to Brizzy, this will catch you off guard. And actually, it makes a little bit of sense why it happens like that. It is just there is no notice that's going to pop up and say, hey, Bobby, this is why it looks like this. So maybe you've gone through this. And if you experience this in the future, you can have that reminder and your head go off. Ding, 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 ding. JP did say something about this. Let me show you the example and what is going to happen when you bring in an image as a background for a block. So what I've got here is I'm working on a header section. I've got my Euro section, typical uh, a buff title, small little tagline there, and then my heading, a nice little line, and then a call to action over here. And then we're just going to add an image here. And this is where a decision comes in. And the decision is the following. You can bring in an image via the column. Columns can contain images just like they can contain backgrounds or you can bring in an image by placing an image element in here by going to the add elements and bringing in an image which one let me tell you what's going to happen if you go for the column option we go to the column click on the settings up here and then all the way to the left there is our good friend background now, I'm currently in Brizzy Cloud, works exactly the same in Brizzy WordPress. The only slight difference that you're going to see is how we're going to bring in the image because currently in Brizzy Cloud, and I hope this can change, you can only directly upload it from your computer. You don't have a library in some faraway place where your images are stored. And like I said, Something I look forward to where I have some management for that. Currently, you upload it directly from your computer. So what I'll do is I'll click here on the upload. That'll open up this little dialog box here. And I can grab the images, roses, because this is a wedding. And I want to have roses here. And you get all the controls like usual. And you may just be highly, highly satisfied with how this image looks. And in fact, you even have a hover option over here. So if you want to change the image, you can do that. What I will do is I'll just bring in another block quickly. And let's bring in two columns again. And bring in an image for the left column, just so that you can see the differences. Because I see this question all the time. Let's do the same. We bring in the roses. And now when you look at it, you can see you have zoom, you have open in light box. And if I go back to the column, you can see I don't have that. But strangely enough, I've got hover in the column, but I don't have it for the image. Yeah, one of those strange things. Just be aware that this is the difference when it comes to the settings within that, what you can do with it. But let's go back here because for all other intents and purposes, it more or less runs the same. Now, this is what happens when people design like this, and it happens quite a lot. They look at it and they think, hmm, okay, great. I've got what I want here, maybe an image of the bride kissing the groom. You know, we're getting married or putting the ring on the finger. And then we update it, control command S and we go view it on the front end. And what do you expect to happen? Well, you're going to be very disappointed because it's going to look exactly the way that you had created it. And that's kind of what you had in mind, right? So do not be surprised about this. The surprise is going to come once you start styling it within your tablet and mobile device. So if I now view it, and I'm going to press F12 on my keyboard, and then I can toggle on and off here the responsive view. And I select my iPhone X. The following is happening. You see this image here? You think, why is this image down here? That image is down here because it's this image. This image is where? It's not there. That image is basically gone. 
What's going on here? So let's go have a look, and the solution is very easy. If you go to tablet, you're going to still see it is there. But what if you wanted to have these two columns stacked? So you want the image at the top, and you want this section below it. For that, you will grab this and drag it out all the way to the right. And by doing that, you're going to see that now the height of this image has changed. And if you go down one more level to mobile, you're going to see the same. In fact, in mobile, it's already like that. So what you have here is you have now your image still in the column, but your column's height has changed. In fact, according to Brizzy, your column has zero height. Your column is just a container. It doesn't recognize any content in there. And this image in the background is not considered content. Content are elements within the container. So unless there's not something inside this container, and it's like this, Brizzy tells you there's actually nothing there. The reason you can see it in desktop view is because it's taking the height of this column, not this one. And to show you that, let's bring in, oh, okay, let's close this one and we bring in another block and I'll bring in four columns because I saw this actually was the case. Add one, add another one. This is what had happened to somebody on the Brizzy forum. He clicked here and for some reason he had these colors that he brought in like this. And he liked it. I love it. I love it so much. Right? Just change the color. Okay. Green. And one more. Let's see if we can get that to blue. Right. This is what he had. This is what he liked. For some reason, this was very important to the website. Again, if you go and preview it on the front end, this is the one pixel phenomenon that I talked about. This is far more pronounced when you do it like this. And the reason this one worked, but this one doesn't, is because in this one up here, the column, this one, is taking its height from the adjacent one over here. This one is taking its height from the content. How can we then get around this? For this one, at least for the desktop, and then this one for mobile and for tablet. The clue is you need something in there to give it content, and that is a spacer. That's a very simple solution, and I'm making this video extremely long just to get to that simple solution. Go to Add Elements, grab your spacer, and drag it. Then. All you need to do is drag it to the height of the column. But in this case, it doesn't really matter because it's going to take the height of this one. Go down to tablet and I'm going to hit control minus, command minus on the keyboard. It takes me down. And now I have control. You can see it's already taken the height of the spacer. I can decide how high I want that to be. And if I control minus, command minus again, Maybe I reduce this one a little bit. And the same we have to do for these four, because it looks like they are there, but we've seen they are not there. Control, Command, Plus, Control, Command, Plus to go up back to desktop, and the same here. Now, what you have to remember, you only need to put the spacer in one of these columns as long as the others are adjacent. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's bring in the spacer into the orange, and we drag it like so. So one spacer here, no spacers here. Update. Preview it on the front end. Okay, and now we've got this here. So this has been sorted. Let's go for F12 and see what happens. And let's first go to our tab, iPad, I mean. And because the columns are still next to each other, it takes the spacer. And you can see here, we also have our image now nicely because of that spacer. And if we go down to iPhone X, we're going to see the following. Here, this image looks good because we have adjusted the spacer. And if you look down here, you say, okay, cool, it works. But wait, where are the others? Now they are stacked. Go back into the builder, control minus, control minus. And this is how it looks in the back. Because you have that spacer there now, 
these guys actually still doesn't have any content. But the effect you want here is these four colors next to each other. So I'll grab this one and drag it down to 25% like shoe. I've given up on getting it exactly there. So as long as I get it close to 25%, I'll live with the discrepancies and I'll do it for all of them. And now that's interesting. I see actually the columns without the spacer are actually taller than that one. And then this one until it pops to the next line, which is there. I'll just leave it. I don't think that's 100% exactly correct. Still waiting for the day when we can have that pixel perfect control. But according to what we've learned, this spacer here, even if I reduce it, all three of these should take exactly the same height as this one over here. That's going to be an interesting little test. And they always told us, don't show something you haven't tested before the time. And I actually didn't test that. So I could be in for a surprise. Let's do control ah, F12 again. Let's do F12. And yep, there it is. It works exactly the way I predicted it will work. So these three columns, because they are adjacent to this one with the spacer in, and I can reduce it. Look here. It's actually much smaller now than the container. Let's update it. Go to the front, refresh this one, and there you go. And that is the curious case of the disappearing column or the one pixel column. It used to be one pixels, now it looks like it's a few more pixels. So it will vary on what you've got there. Just remember, if you have a column with an image background for the column and you go into responsive views, Go make sure that you've tested it. And if you don't understand in response of you what has happened to that image, it's because you need a spacer. Now, this is a good opportunity to actually say it would actually be nice to have custom control. And the reason I say that, that the element, the row, let's bring in a row element. If I bring in a row element and I drop it here, look at the row element settings up here. It's got a height setting. And you can set it on custom height or auto. And if I can do that with a row, I, I'm perplexed why the column doesn't really have that same kind of control. I am no developer, so I cannot tell you why. There may be some intricacies involved here, which I'm not aware of. But I would have liked to have seen something similar to that, right? Look at that. All of that control, the width, the height, eh, would have been nice. That's the end of this how-to to make sure that when you work with columns that they display the images nicely if you're using them for background images. This is JP signing off.